Okay, so let's do um, this um, problem now. Uh, the clear liquid shown is carbon disulfide. So I don't have any with me. Maybe I'll re-record -re this when I'm in the lab. Um, it's composed of carbon, which is the black solid shown, and sulfur, which is the yellow solid shown. Um, so if carbon disulfide contains one carbon atom for every two sulfur atoms, Okay, so let's write that down. One carbon atom for every two sulfur atoms. What is the molecular formula of carbon disulfide? So molecular formula, remember, it's these three atoms, stick them together. Okay, so carbon disulfide, and you write them in the way that it's written, or said. So carbon goes first, there's only one of them, so, um, well, let's do the sulfur, sulfur first. There's two of them, right? So you put a subscript two there. In fact, this is the molecular formula for carbon disulfide. Why didn't we put a one there? Bad. Why? Because it's implied that there's a one there because you already got that carbon, okay? So you need to actually tell me how many sulfurs you got because you got more than one. If you got only one carbon, you've already told me that by putting it. And in fact, if you want to know what the molecular structure of this looks like, and we'll learn how to do this later, very interesting. So uh, the reaction that we talked about is Down the road, down the road.